Oh, this snow is pretty in the mountains of Tennessee, but it's not something they enjoy seeing very often. That's why we are fortunate to be inside the Thompson Bowling Arena tonight. Well, you know, going into the game, we talked to our team about, you know, we had beat them the last three times, three games, and uh, we knew coming off the Florida loss that they were going to be ready to play. Tennessee in the home white, Ole Miss in the road blue, and we are playing in the SEC. Snoop White drove to the basket, but in what could be a startling development, Marshall Henderson is down on the floor just to our left. Training staff immediately begins work, but this is a big development in Tennessee's first offensive possession. We'll see if he's able to get back on court. But Ole Miss has some experience playing without Marshall Henderson. You want to talk about confidence and a good start. That was an important basket for Jordan McCray, who gives the balls a 3-0 lead. It was just day night, like everything they were shooting was going in. They were playing together. They was getting all the rebounds. They just they just outplayed us and um, they focus just were better than now. Yeah, when they came, they came out out the um, locker room hot, everything they shot went in, and um, I just felt that we didn't have enough energy to um, compete that day. Key for Ole Miss so far in SEC play has been their stellar defense, Four, but they're getting shredded by Tennessee's hot jump shooting. Thompson, that's a nice take. That's a heads up play by the freshman, and Andy Kennedy has to take a timeout. Tennessee with a basketball, and they've hit five of their first seven shots. The way Tennessee was shooting the ball is, you know, it was unbelievable. You know, Richardson, you know, hadn't really made many threes, and I think he made four, uh, you know, in the scouting report. You know, we had him as a driver, but he really came out and made shots. Uh, McCray was unbelievable. Uh, he hit shots off the bounce, in transition. Uh, we could never stop him. Everything going Tennessee's way. Oh, searching offensively. Marshall Henderson is trying to make something happen. He launched a couple of shots, can't get them down. With the Vols having the early momentum, the Rebels would begin to fight back. Summers! Oh my goodness, did he take some contact and finish? Millinghouse with a steal. Boy, that is a tough play by the little guy who took out a cameraman on the baseline. Millinghouse, somebody got a piece of it. And Colby gets it to go. Boy, how many times have we seen him do that? Marshall drilling that three-point shot as the Rebels trim the lead to 11. Summers with a drive. Marshall Henderson coming off the screen. There's traffic, he's not on balance, his shoulders aren't square, it doesn't matter, he's letting it go. He comes up with this steal. It is so difficult to pull up and knock down a three-point shot. Right, he thought about it. That, my friends, is appropriate. Well, you know, in the locker room, you know, we talked about, you know, being down, of course, double digits. Uh, we're, we're trying to get the game back to single digits. Uh, and, and we just didn't play well. You know, we kind of mentioned to the guys, like this may have been our worst half of the season. So let's go back out, play better, uh, get it to single digits and put some game pressure on them and, and uh, possibly get back in the game. Uh, we, just told our, we just told each other we was just um, gonna fight our way back in the game or at least give our, ourselves a chance. And um, when we came out, everybody was just on point. Um, our approach was different. Here comes Marshall. Richardson chasing him from wing to wing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and Henderson right out of the timeout knocks down another triple. He scored the last 12 points for the Rebels. I mean, this is just, I, I, I don't know what's crazier, the shot, the make, or the reaction. It's all off the chain. Marshall Henderson weaving his way down the court. He had the basketball, so you knew he was going to shoot. Pulled up from about 26 feet, drilled it. As well as Tennessee has played. Oh, Miss, a lot of momentum right now. With Marshall hitting threes the way he hit threes, you know, you always have a chance to, to cut the lead and get back into the game, and that's what we did. Yeah, Marshall was hitting everything from the stands and on. But um, when we went on that run, we thought we had it. 
But a um, couple plays, they started making a lot of offensive rebounds, putbacks, and ones, a bunch of block shots, and I kind of put our momentum down. It just like the moments of the game, it just it just kind of took away. They they was just it was just they night. <laughs> Tennessee has scored in the paint on its last six possessions. I thought both of their their starters, Maven and Stokes, really pounded us on the glass. Uh, and you know, for us, you know, we have to rebound the ball well. In games, we rebound the ball well, and we keep people off the offensive glass. We win, and I think that was a big part of the game. And when we got back into the game, I just thought we were out of gas at the end. Ole Miss will fall to 14 and 6 overall and 5 and 2 in the SEC.